Hello everybody, this is Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for October 20, 21st, 31st, 2016. We had a beautiful new moon in Scorpio. The moon is still in Scorpio and it's still new, it's becoming. So today as well, be very strict regarding your inner hygiene, your spiritual and emotional hygiene. Don't give in to negativity or to anger or to frustration. Don't feed that wolf <laughs> and, and keep it clean today because we want to set a nice fertile ground for the next lunar cycle. So today, if you are in Europe, the moon would be conjuncting Hygieia in the morning and sextiling Pluto. The conjunction to Hygieia, the goddess of hygiene and health and medicine, talks about the fact that issues of emotional or sexual health could come up this morning. And if they don't come up, we just have to know that these issues are more sensitive at the moment and we need to watch them. The sextile to Pluto invigorates us and gives us the notion that we have the power to deal with whatever life throws at us. Yes, we can, is the sextile to Pluto. After that, at around third, uh, I'm so, uh, sorry, 3 p.m. Central European time, that's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon would be conjuncting Lilith. This is a time that usually we can be involved in emotional behavior that is not positive for us, that does not contribute in a positive manner to our future, that is often rooted in either negative emotions or post-traumatic behavior. So we have to watch that. Other than that, there's a trine to Chiron and a quincunx to Uranus at around 8 p.m. Central European time. That's 1500 hours, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's a time, a trine to Chiron, that we could build bridges over places that have been hurt or places that we, we have grew apart from other people or places that ache within us or in our lives. Wounds that we know for a long time can be healed at that time. The Queen Kongs to Uranus says we don't have a lot of patience, that we could jump forward without even looking if the water is deep enough. So a little common sense would go a long way this evening and tonight and will help you heal patches that need your tender love and care within you and within your life. And that's a great time to do that also because Jupiter Queen Kongs is the, the South Node. It's a time of activism. It's a time for positive change. It's a time to stand up for what we believe in. It's a time to leave behind tendencies and beliefs that are no longer valid, that are no longer necessary for your future. And the Sun is trining Pluto. And we get a lot of imagination, a lot of creativity, and romanticism as well into our daily creation and into who we are. And that's great. Mercury is in a beautiful angles to the nodes. It's a time that we can communicate well and feel like we are able to make our point and to put on the table whatever it is we think or we feel inside. So it's a great time to continue and develop your future and navigate your consciously through life when Mercury is in a beautiful position with the notes. That's it for today. I want to thank you for listening. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.